Hey guys, today's video is going to be on a just a quick video about my um, new craft supplies that I got yesterday. So a craft haul and also my upcoming videos I'm going to make. And I reorganized my clay box where I put all my um, clay and creations. So I also would like to show you that. So to start, I got two squares of clay yesterday. I got one. One of them is white, and then I got the orange one for making like orange Palmer clay cane slices. And just white because, well you always need white, it's like a basic clay color. Then I got, for the first time I got translucent liquid Sculpey. I'll zoom in on that. And what it is, what I use it for, is it's for um, like you mix it, you shave off some of your pastels, and then you mix it in with the translucent liquid Sculpey or TLS as you could say and it makes like you can make it as for like waffle syrup or jam like just kind of anything that you need that isn't going to be like a solid for your Palmer clay things then I have four 3D paint or deco sauce as I like to call it because many people do use it for deco denning and so I got four of them and the first color I got is True Pink, and I'm going to use this for a strawberry color. Then I got Tea, which I'm going to use as for mocha for the desserts. I think these will be fun to start trying out. And I have a brown already, but I'm running out of it, so that's why I got another one. And then I got a white for like Whipple, well not Whipple, but like whipped cream colors and cream. Now I also got this, it's really cool. I got it at Michael's. And what it is, it's a clay gun. And what you do is you put clay in here and you push it out. And you put a um, one of these discs in. And they give you different shapes or designs that come out of the clay. So this one I got mainly for whipped cream, and I'm not quite sure about the other ones, but whipped cream, or you could use it as a cupcake um, icing top. And this one I thought that you could use as spaghetti, I thought that would be a really good idea. I'm actually going to be making um, a tutorial soon, maybe on one of those two things I just mentioned. And so I also got these things at a store, these things? at a store called um, Dacio. It's a $1.50 Japanese store and I really love it because they have so many convenient, cool, and kawaii things too. And it's pretty good prices. So this, I got this for, it comes with like um, a couple baggies and icing tips. And what I'm going to use this for is, I'm not sure if it works, but I've seen many videos on, you know, Whipple is that um, silicone whipped cream toy. and I've heard that you could use, I think, caulking, like DAP Brilliant White or something like that for um, Whipple because it's cheaper, but I'm not sure if it works, but I'm excited to try it out. These are cookie cutter stencils, and I use these for my Palmer Clay, and I mainly just got this for the circle for, the, for a cookie in the heart, but I also like the other ones. I have other cookie cutters, but I've already opened them. And lastly, I want to show you my Palmer Clay container. So let me move all this on. Okay, this used to be my mom's bead container, but now I've asked her if I could use it and changed it into my clay container. So let me open it. Oops. Okay, so it looks like this. And over here, I have my beiges and tans that I use for like the bread or the base of my dessert creation. Because I just usually make really cute um, Palmer Clay foods and like characters. So I have some Primo, Sculpey, and Craft Smart in here. I mainly use like Craft Smart for making like cookies because it has a nice tan color. Next, I have some translucent clay because it's always good to have translucent clay 
as for like if you ever make like a bubble tea charm it has like the rim and you could use it as like substituting for a plastic item in your Palmer clay. I have some pink and some reds. I have this is Sculpey Red and then this is like Craft Smart Red. So Craft Smart's a little lighter, although I got the darker Sculpey Red. This is my like strawberry pink Sculpey that I'll use sometimes for icing or like strawberry icing. Yellow, I sometimes use for lemon, and I made this color for like butter on waffles or like an egg yolk. That's what I made it for. Like extra clay, like some pinks that I made. Some light greens and Craft Smart green, Primo green. This is like emerald green for like lettuce on a sandwich. I got some blue. This is all, I tried to make some Palmer clay canes, and the first time it didn't work out, so I have lots of extra orange left over. This is just like different colored oranges. I got silver, Primo accents. And I got this for like making the tips of an icing bag, or which I saw in a tutorial. Or I made, which I'll show you in another craft update, I made a cookie sheet with miniature cookies and I thought it was really cute. So yeah, it just looks silver, although the bad thing about it is you kind of get glitter because it has sparkles in it. So you kind of get glitter all over your hands, but I guess it's okay. And here are my chocolates. This is really dark chocolate, and then over here is different colors from Craftsmart. Just um, different mixed clay. My whites, so I guess I could put a new white right there. Um, these are just extra dividers for like here, so you can make it longer or smaller. Purple for like taro bubble teas. And these are kind of just clays that, um, they're just assorted colors. This is my Japanese eraser clay that I got in a kit. And if you use it and you bake it, it turns into an eraser. Black, and here are my Palmer clay like utensils that I use. And most of them are upstairs because I've been doing clay a lot lately. But here's a paintbrush for like doing glaze. This is like a really big um, pointer tool or ballpoint tool. And then this is another paintbrush. I use this teaspoon for like making ice cream scoops. A razor blade for slicing clay. And oh, this is my, if I can get it out. This is my razor blade I usually use. Just gotta be careful with it. So this is basically my craft update video and thank you for watching. Now lastly I just wanted to talk about my upcoming videos I have and upcoming videos I'm going to be making my first clay tutorial and I'm really excited. I hope you guys are going to like it. I haven't quite decided on what it's going to be about yet. I think either maybe some cookies or a waffle tutorial. But I feel free to leave comments in the comment box below because I'd love to make a tutorial on what you guys would want to see. Because I don't really want to make tutorials that others have made before because I know that can get kind of boring and you probably want to see something new. But so yeah, leave a comment and I might also, like if you want to, me to redo a tutorial that you didn't think was very helpful, I'd also be glad to do that. So thank you guys for watching and leave a comment below. I'll also put my Etsy site where I sell all my creations below if you'd like to check it, check it out. So thank you for supporting me to all who have. And so I'll be back with another video soon. Bye guys!